What's up, YouTube? This is JCap. Today I'm bringing you guys the post Gfinity vlog. I'm really just gonna give you guys a quick like summary of what I may have think went wrong at Gfinity and what we are going to do to get ready for Orlando. Even though we've only had like three days between the time we got home and the time we are leaving to fly to Orlando. But anyway, Gfinity obviously was not the result we were looking for. Um, you know, going into the event, you guys saw our live streams, our videos. We were all really, really confident in our team. Like, we were playing so well online, beating teams. Like, every team in the game, we were either competing with them, beating them. Like, there was no one we were really, like, flat out losing to. So we were feeling good going in, and then we got there. I don't know what it was at the event, but that first match against Infuse when we lost 3-1, I mean, we just came out slow. We did not play our game at all that match. and in the pool play bracket system we had, the pool play system, um, you really can't afford to come out slow like that. Like that three one loss, that first match, really put us in a bigger hole than I would have even imagined like going in. Like I didn't realize how big of an impact that would have. Because that makes it like very difficult to get out of the pool. Because you have to like either win the next two matches like three one 3-0, both of them. So the fact that we came out slow kind of, I think, put us down a bit. And then I mean, we did come back against Ozone next match. We 3-1 them. But even then, we were only 4-4 four and four and we had to play TK. And even, I remember going into the TK match, we knew that even if we did 3-0 them, that was not a guaranteed um, advancing for us. It was, not, it was not guaranteed that we would advance had we 3 0 TK. So we basically went in the mindset that we have to win 3 0 against TK going to that last match for the only chance we have to advance. And as soon as we lost that first hard point, like we kind of thought we were done. We kind of, I mean, we didn't really say anything about it to each other, but in the back of all of our minds, we knew like it would have taken like a miracle for us to advance as soon as we lost that one map. But, you know, we went out there. We still tried to win because there's always a chance. There's always a chance that we would advance, even if it was 3-1 win for us. But then we went. We lost S&D. We lost the CTF. We got 3 0 by them. So, obviously, not a good tournament for us. But it's just losing sucks. I, I despise losing. It is a terrible feeling. It is just I get so angry when I lose. And I... That's just who I am. I don't know what to say about that. But when I combine that with the fact that I was so confident going in and the fact that I let all of you guys down, we let everyone down when we went out there and just basically shit the bed. But, I mean, this, that just sucks knowing we let everyone down also. That makes it hurt even more. So I really don't – I'm not going to try to reflect on it too much because it's not good memories here of Gfinity 2, but – you know, it was a good event. You know, congrats to um, Plexi. They won. And now our only hope is we have one more event left in this game. You know, Orlando coming up this weekend. Four-team tournament. Hopefully we can make something happen there for you guys. Make Come out with a victory. I mean, we got to get some practice in today. For those of you who have heard rumors about it, um, I may be trying a submachine gun out for Orlando. I mean, only one tournament left. And clearly what we did last event did not work, so... Maybe trying it up, me running a sub will work, make us better as a team. We don't know. We got to try that out today, see what happens, and then, you know, roll with it. Because, you know, three days between the events, we really don't have a lot of time to practice anything new. But we all agree that something does have to change. So, I mean, all in all, it's just, just a bad feeling still knowing that we lost Gfinity like that. And I wish, like... There's so many plays looking back now. Had I done this, had someone done this better, I feel like we could have just, I feel like we could have won the event still. Like, I mean, I still feel like we're a good team. I can't pinpoint exactly what wrong. I don't think any of us really played bad and dragged the team down in a way. But um, something did not go right. I, don't, I did not play my best game. I could have done a lot better. I think everyone on the team agrees that they did not play their best individual performance and I think we all know not even agree I think it's a known fact among us that our teamwork was not 
the same at the event that it was online before the tournament. So, I mean, like I've been saying now, one event left in the game. Hopefully, make something happen. If not, we got Ghost coming out real soon. You know, looking forward to that. You know, there's uh, MLG Columbus has already been announced for that event or for that game, like in uh, mid November. So that's gonna be a real early tournament in the game. Where I'm not sure we're gonna like see the best rule set for that. I mean, because at that point in the game, we're probably still gonna be figuring out like what guns are the best, what rule sets should be played, what game modes should be played, even what maps. So I mean, that it'll be a fun tournament in Columbus too. Oh, that's down the road, but I'm not sure how that comp that tournament will play competitively because it's so early in the game. But, you know, that's really all I got for you guys today. Not the best vlog. Hopefully, like I've been saying every like a few times now already, hopefully we make something happen this weekend. I'm pumped to go to Orlando. I feel like it's our chance of redemption to redeem ourselves to ourselves, to you guys, because I do not, I do not want to end the game with Gfinity being our last tournament, knowing that that would have been the memory of Optic on Black Ops 2. So this is our chance of redemption. Hopefully we make something happen. But that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been JCap. Until next time, I will see you later.